Yesterday, a child came out to wonder. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan Victoria. My name is Megan. I'm a pro hair makeup artist. And today, I just wanted to do something that was like fun. It was light. It was just a little corally, bronzy, you know, just all those like easy to do summertime fun makeup. Keep the skin really fresh, keep the lips really juicy and luscious, and just, you know, have a good little summertime fun. I haven't filmed in like three weeks, so, you know, it's taken me a little bit to get back into the groove of things, but I'm super excited to show you this makeup. We have some new fun things to play with and try out, and uh, yeah, I'm just like really into it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you'd like to see how we get this look, then please just keep on watching. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to be back filming. I haven't filmed actually in like three weeks. Oh my god, I actually think it was. I don't think I filmed in June. That's so wild. Okay, so we got lots of friends and things happening on the face, so we're gonna take care of it. Definitely got a little bit of sun, so we're loving that. I'm gonna start off with some flawless filter, and this is just in shade three. I'm gonna just work that all over the skin because it's summer and we want some nice glowy skin. Just gonna quickly buff this out. Now for foundation today, I wanted to bring back my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I really enjoy this foundation and I always wear it in the summer. I never really wear it in the winter. I just mix a little bit of Reboot in with the um, Estee Lauder. That's a lot of foundation. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush. And I enjoy the um, Estee Lauder in like really thin layers. Like if you don't apply the Estee Lauder like really sheerly, like it really can build up really quickly and then you can get that really thick layer of makeup. But when you just like take a little bit, like look, I barely actually touch what's on the back of my hand, but that's all I really want. It's such a great like foundation with lots of like coverage. So you definitely only need a little bit and like look magically that guy is gone, which is fabulous. But I'm just mixing these two together. And I'm applying it with my BMX 187, 180. Why did I think it was 187? That's so weird. Um, but I just, I've been loving this brush. I know I keep talking about it, but it's been fantastic. I also do have my little sponge, so I'm just going to go over everything just because I want to make sure I have a nice sheer layer of foundation and nothing's like heavy because no one wants heavy makeup in the summer. It just does not feel good. Oh, it's hot. I'm just going to grab my little Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer and we're just going to pop that right under the eyes, brighten that up. Well, right now, you know, just doing a little color correction, then we're going to brighten. Man, I really feel like I haven't filmed in like three weeks because I can't talk. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, let's, we, we got this. We're going to get through this together. Okay, and once that's nice and corrected, I'm gonna grab my Makeup Forever concealer, just go right under the eyes, and we'll bring it down just a little bit. Also on top of the nose, especially if you get sun, sometimes like it kind of changes the texture of your skin, and so like makeup doesn't stick there as well. So I find just putting a little extra concealer is really helpful. Oh, that one's painful. Oh, you are not nice, sir. Ouch. And yeah, we'll just get all these little guys that wanna hang out and do funny things on my face, and. Why not a little bit on the chin? Oh, and get right around this upper lip mustachey area. Very important. Okay, then we will just blend this all out and I'm just gonna use my sponge nice and easy. And the last thing I'm gonna do is my under eye area because I wanna give it the most time to like kind of set and just makes the product a little bit more opaque. So we'll just go over the rest of the face and leave that alone. I'm already starting to sweat. This is great, it's so fun. I'm genuinely curious how like big youtubers and makeup people film in the summer like do you just have like an air conditioned but silent room like I now finally put my AC unit in my window which is great but I can only use it when I'm not filming because of audio so maybe maybe they've got the tricks but I clearly don't so we just sweat through our makeup application together so fun Okay, skin looks beautiful. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my Bare Minerals foundation stick. Let's see how the color is. This is definitely going to just give me a nice little bit of a warm bronze. It's not really going to do much because especially as I'm, you know, getting a little deeper in color, this is going to do less and less. But it is such a nice, like, honey bronzy color. Like, it's really beautiful. So it does just give us this really pretty warmth which I love, so I just apply that and I'll grab that with my little brush and just kind of little dabs and circle motions. 
When you're doing a more like bronzy makeup, you don't want like super intense highlights. So I'm just literally leaving this underneath the eyes and doing a lot more bronziness. If I want to really pinpoint some highlights later, we can do that. But I just think I want to leave it nice and like bronzy and glowy and not like too high of a contrast look. Okay, so one product we have to try out today is the new Buxom bronzer so this is primer infused bronzer this one's in rooftop tan now the do i have them i think i do yeah so buxom has um the primerized blushes and they're friggin fantastic because they stay on for so long now if we just want to talk about this color for a minute like this is very like light and peachy and not what i usually consider a bronzer shade so there's that like i have um my go to JLo bronzer and you can see how different those are like so different so we're gonna try this out and see if it's maybe different in the pan i've literally not even swatched it so we'll see what's up with that now i will add though they only came out with two shades the other shade does look substantially darker but not dark enough like whatsoever and then two bronzer shades like in this climate like day and age is like just a little ridiculous so i'm just i'm just gonna tell you that and then we're gonna use the product because yeah i'm not i'm definitely not sold and i really hope this doesn't ruin my makeup because i'm being pissed but um let's go into it now what i do know about the blushes though is they're very pigmented i'm kind of nervous okay let's do this together Okay, see, nope, mm -mm, not for me. Do you see how like orangey and like, hmm. Okay, I could get away with like a light. Let's just do a light, but like you guys, I don't know, it kind of gives you like bronze or burnt look. Like, does that make sense? Like a little bit bronzy and a little bit like burnt by the sun, so maybe. It's not that off from like my actual like tanning color. Okay, it's not the worst thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna chill for a second. I won't be so judgmental, and I'll just give this a second and see what we think. Cause it is giving me. You know what? It is giving me like a very bronzery bronzer. Like, I do look sun kissed, and I actually look probably more sun kissed with this, like as a natural. What the sun naturally does whereas i usually like more of a j-lo glow but like i'm not j-lo coloring so this is actually it's kind of nice for my coloring it goes with our look because i did want to do something very like coral and bronzy and this does do that so i'm not gonna be I'm not I'm not mad at it god damn it i really thought i was not gonna like it and i know with like the um if it's anything like the blush formula which i'm assuming it's literally the exact same this is going to last so long which is going to make me look so sun kissed all day and then we'll even get the ears just because we want to do that that's a little thing just like a fun little bit of information we always like when doing like males makeup always get the ears because they always have super red ears if they're like you know light and skin tone Okay, it goes on a lot more pigmented than it looks like in the pan. That is definitely what I will say. Um, I don't hate it. And I actually really like it in the big sweepy motion. It's a good like, you know, three bronzer. Um, okay, I don't hate it. I don't, I thought I was and I don't. So there we go, that's that. Okay, so what I do have next um, another new product is the NARS came out with some like fun little blushes. They sent a bunch of shades over So I've got a bunch, but this is the orgasm X. So where's my regular orgasm blush? This is the regular orgasm So it's like really pinky and I actually love this I'll probably use this more than this because this is a little bit more of that cool tone pink Whereas this is much more corally and like peachy, which is definitely more my vibe. So I'm excited to try this So I'm just gonna grab some of this on a little blush brush Oh my god, crap on crackers that is hella pigmented. I don't know why I didn't think I needed to dust that off. I don't know what my brain was doing. Okay, we'll just apply some over here. Oh, okay, that's gorge, guys. Like, okay. So we need to, let's let's just kind of flick, 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 blend. <gasps> oh, Lord. We'll use our little sponge just to work that in. Okay, this is definitely staying at my table. I'm gonna take some a little bit across the nose since we're going for that, you know, blushy look. Holy crap, I gotta remember how goddamn pigmented this is. I look like my mom. My mom has such a like permanently red nose, that's so funny. Okay, let's just do that. 
And then I'm going to just take a little bit of the bronzer and just put that over the nose as well. Okay, I'm honestly really not mad at this. I think this looks really, really pretty. And I look so glowy. Um, I definitely think I could even add more bronzer. But I like how this color looks like my like burn slash tan color like it actually looks really natural okay so you definitely don't need highlight but we're obviously gonna put highlight because it's us let's be real so i'm gonna grab a little bit of my champagne pop i'm gonna do it a little bit more of a strategic placement because this goes so crazy and this plus like the glowy blush is really gonna go insane so i'm gonna pinpoint it and then i will blend it out I definitely try to avoid applying powder as much as possible when I'm like in this kind of stage of, you know, doing my makeup. So all I'm going to really do is take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Falls Finish Powder, go right under the cheekbones, and then I'm going to go just where I'm feeling, you know, my face kind of melt. <laughs> so just in the center of the face. Okay, I'm going to pop on my brows and then we'll move on to the eyes. Okay, brows are on. So for the eyes, we're keeping it pretty simple. Again, I have a few new things to play with, so I'm just going to start by getting rid of my concealer creases because those ain't cute. Then I'm just going to take my powder and I'm going to go over top my eyelids just to neutralize the colors in there. Also, in the summer, I don't know about you, but I get sweaty, greasy ass eyelids, so we're going to deal with that. Alright, so I mentioned that NARS came out with some new blushes, so I'm going to also use this blush. You know, you can use blush as eyeshadow, eyeshadow as whatever, like, you know, makeup is totally versatile. But I love, I think this color is so pretty, and I think it would be really pretty as, like, a bridal blush. But I want to just put it on my eyeballs, because I want to kind of, like, rose up my eyeballs. Like, my face is really corally and, like, bronzy, which I still want to keep, but I do want a little bit more rose in the eyes. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this shade. So this is the shade Behave. And I'm just going to work this into the crease. Ooh, that's so pretty. Yes, that is what we wanted. Just like a warm, dusty pink shade. Just a light wash of that is all you need. And then another shade that I thought was really pretty and bronzy, again, is the shade Tempted. And it's like a bronzy, peachy kind of shade. Yeah, that's super, super pretty. So I'm going to grab that just with my finger even. And it's also creamier and more... Um, shimmery and then i'm just gonna work that on the eyes Ooh, that's so pretty yeah that's a really pretty combo so if you really love a shade you need to get the blush and then you also get more product which is great and it's not that much more expensive i love how that looks it looks so pretty i know it's no surprise like you guys know i love like a good little pink Kind of moment in the crease i love it i love it on the eyes i think it's just so flattering for blue eyes and green eyes and re really any eyes like let's be real but like especially blue just because it's that orangey kind of balance really makes them pop i'm just going to grab the same rosy shade i'm just going to run it underneath the lash line just to really encapsulate the eyes and all that pinky warmness look at my little sweat stash no well not welcome Okay, to finish off the eyes, there's one shade in this NARS palette. I'm sorry that I use all the NARS. I just, NARS is fantastic, okay? They just know what they're doing. But this one shade in the NARS palette, it's like this just metallic copper brown. It's gorgeous. All I want to do is just press that into the lash line. And I'm just going to do it on the outer corner. Just want a little flick of something. And it just kind of like lifts the eye just because it draws a little bit of like shadow there. And then you can do a little liner like wing if you like. So we'll just do a little teeny tiny smoky wing like literally just that's it. And then I'll just do it on the other side as well. Then we're just going to apply some mascara. I'm going to go back to my Buxom Extrovert Mascara. I quite enjoy it. And I love when my lashes are lifted, which they are now. So this will really like pump up the volume, which is fantastic. All right, we got some lovely little lashes going on. Next, I'm going to take, this is also new, the Buxom Full-On Plumping Lip Polish. So I always wear these, talk about these. I have a million of them, but this new shade is in the shade Ryan, and it is a gorgeous coral. Like, look at that, which is just going to totally complete our coral vibe. 
I love something like this in the summer because it just gives you like that hint of color and like that juiciness but you also can just like keep reapplying it throughout the day instead of like having like a full-on lip that you have to worry about that's just like no bueno so I'm gonna take a little bit more blush I'm gonna take a little bit of the orgasm X I'm going to tap it off make sure and I'll just tap that right on the tops of the cheeks Another reason I do a lot of patting motions, especially for summery makeup, is because I know my skin is sweating and melting, and so I don't want to, like, have it melt and then, like, move the makeup, so I definitely like to do that. I'm also going to grab a little bit more bronzer. I'm actually really surprised at how much I really, like, enjoy the color of this bronzer, because I think it just gives you bronzer mixed with, like, a tiny bit of burnt, which is, like actually a really good combo if you want something super super natural so love how that looks and all i'm gonna do is grab a little bit of my pressed powder just for the last little final touch and just kind of get that sweat stash get the chin just anywhere i want a little tiny bit of coverage and then i'm gonna finish it off with my pixie glow mist i always use this in the summer because it's glowy it has a little bit of shimmer to it it's just really pretty so And then you can just tap it all in. And there we have our final look. All right, guys, so there we have it. This is our final look. Just a really beautiful, coral, fresh, summery glow. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.